I have been looking forward to this since we reacted to the part one. I can't let find the booth part two I'm reacting to today. If you want to go and check out part one, you can click that up there. Um, but yeah, part one was amazing. That was like so deep, like perfect message, spot on and everything he said. It was just facts the whole way through. This one is a lot longer. This is 14 minutes, so this is probably going to be quite a long video, but I'm looking forward to it and yeah, hopefully it's just as good as the first one. Let's go. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, call it, brother. You know what time it is when you hear this, right? Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Yo, a caller. Wow. Knowledge is power. Volume one, mixtape, 28th of May. Listen, acarlamusic.com. Chase. Tiny bit more vocal, please. Actually, listen. Knowledge is power, always. Knowledge is power. That's the message he's spreading, and I, I, I rate that. He seems like he's. I've been watching more of him, and he's done like loads of interviews. He did a fucking an address at the Oxford Union and stuff like that. So this guy is he's clued up on stuff, and you can tell that from his first one. But he's he's not just a rapper. He's like, yeah, he's he's like a public speaker basically. He he knows his stuff as well. Listen. The scam, brother. The scam. <laughs> Oi, mate, my personal life's great Some of you would love me more If I rub that in your face, okay mm. Well, let us run down the resume And have a little chat about a car that's living today Big whip, nice yard, been all over the globe Look how many continents that I have done Shows That was mad though, the first line that comes in That's true, he was like You probably love me more if I rubbed all my stuff Like my success in your face And I, I, I like rappers that aren't like because it's the typical rapper thing to do to go and like flex and be like the big man. But he's like, I like, I respect it when someone's just like, they're humble and they're just like, you know, don't rub it in your face, they're not over cocky. Couple little companies, neat little office, everything going swell. Little bit of profit, built a business, educating kids from the block. So far as I'm concerned, you got to be a monk to not rate him. Oh, my own masters, still my own master. You have got to be a monk to not rate this guy. Built a business, educating kids from the blocks. This guy's, he's a legend. Novels and strips on the way. Rap is just a part of the Perfect. genius in this head, and he knows it. Dickhead, since I used to kick ball for West Ham with my big head. Back in school days where... Akala kicked ball for West Ham. Wow. I, I mean, I wouldn't have expected that to be honest, but Akala's a baller as well. Jeez. I've been hanging me downs from my sister, and Yell was still onto man. Now that's some Ross charisma. It's just a nipper. I took my first pull of Rizla. I knew you think gave me that. Yeah, my bigger sister. So when we speak a struggle, cousin, it's yours. You know the same old madness. Working class poor, yeah. So may have won a couple of awards. I guarantee you that my family just as messed up as yours. All the abuse and the alcoholism and drug addiction. Uncles go into prison. This is That's a big point. People often think, oh, he's, he's won awards, he's rich, he's probably fine. But he's like, my family's just as messed up as yours. And it's like, people that are in these high positions are really successful can still have struggles just as much as someone who's really struggling financially. This is working class living in Britain, it ain't great. You gotta be kidding. So please don't ever get confused by me spitting. Cause yes, I said the ghetto's in our head, but no, I didn't mean. If you live next to a food yard, let us in your dreams. I meant believing in the madness they spout about us. It's far more dangerous than putting us in council houses. So yeah, I criticize, but from a place of love, never, ever. Cause I think that I've become above every young brother you wanna judge as a tug. It's me, man, it's a little guidance and love. So I think that you're the mug. And why be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime simply by paying tax Cause we didn't go and tickle them people in Iraq and ask them so politely We all commit crime just by paying tax I mean is he right? Is he right? Let me know in the comments It's just like do you think paying tax is Like obviously it's like you're legally obliged to do it and You're kind of fucking over the government if you don't But when the government are spending all this money on going to war in Iraq And stuff that people necessarily don't want and not, we didn't really have a choice about it. Ooh. For all the minerals we extract, we blew children's heads off, set fire to backs. With a gangster nation, get down and you get clapped. So when you see the youth, they're running around on the road with heaters. Don't be surprised, they're just copying their leaders. Long as the Ooh. wars stay in places that are... You can't expect people, that, like the citizens and civilians, to act be perfect if the leaders aren't. And they're just copying their leaders. 
down and poor We can all pretend to be abhorred But we applaud If you go up to Knightsbridge and get violent The policeman that duckers you will probably get knighted If I don't wanna fight you cuz It ain't cuz I'm frightened I'd just rather fight with those who really think they're tight and sh- Perfect. I ain't scared of bleeding I am scared of breathing Another breath in this world where everything is so uneven When millions murdered in the Congo when it's barely news But if a footballer's wife should buy a pair of shoes I'm supposed to give up Apparently, I do not the world's a reflection of your block, and if you think of what news does not report on the right stuff, fucking the Sun and the Daily Mail and all of those shit newspapers pointing on like footballers' wives. As he said, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about people getting killed in Congo, but because it wasn't reported on. But uh, fuck the Sun as well. Big fuck the Sun. World that profit from their death and be totally cool Thinks you're better cause you live here You're a bloody fool Look around at genocidal abuse I swear to humanity ain't nothing but a virus with shoes Then I pick my nephew up from school And I look at the youths and see the love they show each other And I'm just so confused because they ain't learned yet What is their race or religion So we're born unconditioned But we learn to play our position in the system Look what that does to our recognition of self We grow suspicion of our own intuition Now listen You learn to play our position It's like I've been doing psychology A level and yeah basically humans are basically tuned in to fit the role that they're given if they're given a role then they just do it there was an experiment done where it's like um, people random people were picked and given a role of a prisoner or a guard in like a fake prison um, and instantly the guards all went aggressive and started being really like controlling and all the prisoners started behaving badly and it's just like we have something hardwired in our brain that just makes us Whatever position we're given, we'll just do what that is expected. Call us sick, me raps about racism too much. Could you imagine I gave a flying? Cause it's amazing How many wanna claim they love this music With no respect for the actual struggle that produced it Did hip hop not start in segregated hoods Are them hoods not still segregated So it's really good Are the first nation not still on reservations Where the age of 46 is the average life expectation Perfect. And fellas, I wonder where the favelas have been suddenly Age of 46 is the average life expectation Get out And he was talking about how It's like I kind of I, I, I really get that It's like hip hop has become probably the biggest genre in America and rap is probably one of the biggest genres if not the biggest in the UK whereas but like but the people who created it and the hoods are still just right right at the bottom even though the thing that their culture created is right at the top and it, yeah it doesn't make sense Life expectation Perfect. and fellas, I wonder where the favelas have been suddenly knocked down and replaced with something better. If you got sense, you see fights to join the race, class, and gender besides are the same coin. So if you're really down for justice, whoever the people who suffers, whoever you are, I consider you my sister's brothers, but call it what it is like Carlin or Bill Hicks. Not these patronizing left wing little twits that That's ask me bad. dumb sh on a superior tip. I wanna act like cause I read us all as violence as a kid. Don't make me an exception for your mental protection from ex I bet loads of people do that. They think, oh, he's a smart guy. He's obviously, he's, he's talking about this good stuff. He's, he's political, so he's obviously not being involved in that. But it's like, from where he's coming from, from hoods and, and ends, you probably can't not be involved in that. It's just, it's, it's the normal thing. Accepting the madness in the system we are left in That was the clearest thing to come of August events All the closet bigots started speaking their minds again So when a Jamaican or Asians misbehave and of course it's cause of their skin Blonde hair kills a million people, that's just him And it's entertaining, some people are so thick But I prefer that than all of the fake grins Cause it's the only problem people claim they wanna solve But don't actually wanna talk about how it evolved You are told, this country really really yours sir that's very true. I hear so many people talking about solving racism and all the politicians are like, oh yeah, racism's a big problem, blah blah blah, but they don't actually do anything to solve it and they don't really want to have discussions about it. And I think everyone kind of shies away from talking about racism because it's like a touchy subject and yeah, I, first of all, I think people aren't educated enough so they don't want to talk about racism because they think they're going to say something wrong, but yeah, education is a big part and that's what Carla's doing right here. What they did to brown people did to their own poor first and originally in the states Working class whites were also enslaved Then no one talks about it today Ever since the master came with the system of privilege made the working white Working class whites were also enslaved I didn't know that, no one talks about it today is what he said And yeah, I didn't know that He's, he's educating me, I like this He's 
it's just it's just lessons fire in the booth. The overseers mulatto the house cause put the darkest blacks in the field. That mind is with us still. Billion dollar industry, skin cream and bleaching pills. And let's be honest, most people are my complexion. To this very day, still think they're better than the darker section. You say it's changed, then only educate me about Wilberforce, not about the Africans in Haiti who beat the armies of the British, Spanish, and Napoleon. From the moment they stolen them, there was no control in them. When I was in school, she said, No, you never fought for freedom. No, we freed you, and you were on your knees pleading. And what's more, did you know that we kind of saved you from the barbarism of Africa? You should be grateful when enough of our own people can't be bothered to read that they. I mean, that's kind of fucked up, a teacher saying, oh, we saved you from Africa by putting you in slave camps. Ugh. Actually believed that we were swinging from trees. They don't know the kingdom of Congo had embassies in Italy 500 years ago. Literally ain't heard of St. Marie snore, Septimus Severus thing. Uh, this is a thing that everyone in this country and probably America is guilty of, unless you do your research, is we don't get educated about Africa at all like I don't know the history of Africa and I think when most people think oh it's Africa it must just be like it's just the, the huts and mud huts and tribes and that, that's it's been like that forever but obviously it hasn't and you know I've I heard Dave talk about this in um, his song Black it's like we had kings and queens and they had societies and stuff like that they actually had systems set up and they had embassies in Italy it's like I did not know this. It's not what happened. It's not what comes up into your mind when you think of Africa, and that's just because we haven't been educated about it, and also probably because there's probably an agenda towards Africa, and you know, it's it's like, oh, it's Africa. We don't care about them. We'll just we'll leave them. And we don't we don't talk about that. Hmm. Study in the past because they think it's irrelevant and attempts to pretend that ancient Egyptians weren't African. Not a more than pseudo intellectual lies. They ancient Egyptians weren't African. There we go. I mean, Egypt's African, and they had probably the most advanced society at that time, well, unless it was aliens. You know, you never know. Um, yeah, no, they had the, like they had the most advanced society at that time, but they're not talking about as African. We don't consider Egypt Africa when we think of ancient Egyptians, but it was African. They obviously ain't read what Aristotle when Herodotus said about people that they saw for their own eyes and Egypt's been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs not once, not twice, but many many times so nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses even when them statues made of granite it ain't one people alone mistaught about themselves we live on Celtic land but don't learn about the Celts the same Irish people you characterise as stupid during the dark ages some of the most educated living in Europe and did you learn the numbers you count with every day was invented by Indian people I bet you didn't. Or how many million? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. This is this is a lesson. He's just teaching me stuff. He's teaching me stuff. The num so numbers were invented by Indians. I so I would never have known that unless I listened to Akala's Far in the Booth. What a guy. Indians fought for Britain in both world wars. Still, you got the cheek to call them immigrants. We don't learn about the Moors, of course. For some that knowledge. Indians fought. We had so many people fighting for us in both our wars, like all in the British camp in the wars. Indians fought for us, they were on our side, they played a massive part in the war, but we still treat them as like outsiders to our country. And so many people say, ah, oh, it's our country, they don't belong here. Even the Prime Minister says that. They should stop. This is a quote from Boris Johnson they should stop treating England as their own country. Dangerous. Is it a problem the impact they had on the renaissance when people take power over another group We minimize their achievements so we can make it feel true So if you think Columbus was first to sail ocean blue, you probably believe Elvis invented rock and roll too And oh, for the record, no doubt I believe in peace, but not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek They slap you, slap them back, take teeth The only way your bully ever learn is getting beat, fight, fire with fire, nah, fire with water See Sometimes Sadly, violence is the only answer, and as much as you can do peaceful protests, sometimes you do need to just turn around and make people notice you, and yeah, sometimes sometimes that's the only way, and bully only learns from getting beat, and sometimes that could be the only answer, and as much as peaceful protests can work, and we've seen that in history, sometimes you do need to just be violent, and sometimes that's the only thing that will, that will get through to people. See the life giving force is stronger than the destroyer That's why these MCs can't speak to me No, all men are not made equally My brain's made of iron fibre conducting the livest wire My average grade's higher than Oxford or Cambridge require I don't want credit because I got a message I want credit because I'm the best MC Dead it, 
When I came out way back in 04, sister I just won every award. Most man would have done the bait thing, put big sis on the chorus chords. That would have been A-list draw. Quickly I would have been famous more, but look how I came in this thing draw. Bang up the streets some more. If I am seed and I heard me rap, I'd be like, what the? I ain't never gonna be that good, so I better not push my luck, it will embarrass me. Only insanity would make you challenge me. Better hope if we bump heads, that day that I feel like charity. If not, it's a beating, and there ain't no use in search of a meaning. Cause all it means is that you are crap and I am a genius. Why I'm Panama? I push the parameter, can you imagine a fathom? I'm sicker than average, I kill him with character. Benjamin Banneke, look at the marriage, I stand in the damage, a boy from Botanica. Got to look for the whole of the calendar. Calm down, Nicola, jeez. I was talking about I'm the best MC and I didn't jump on choruses and I didn't put out commercial tunes and you gotta rate that. He didn't just like go for mainstream success. He, he wanted to stick to what he thought he wanted to make music for and you respect that. So cold that I'm all in a challenger Why you man roll with the amateurs? I'm too much harder You can just call him Father McCalla But I don't talk shit like a pastor You really know that I'm smarter than half a bloody disaster If I ever start, I'll probably a prodigy makes you a martyr For these crap MCs that mumble Then see me in the flesh and crumble That's Never told bad. you that I was humble No I'm not, don't lie I'm so sure in my writing ability That I feel like I'm fine in divinity Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy My agility, time in his military What a single team for the mini-me It seems you're fiend for the mimicry Your team couldn't dream of the synergy That I beam when I scheme when a wicked beat There goes again with the big words with best syllables Get your dictionary <laughs> That rhyme scheme. He's rhyming words I didn't even know could rhyme. Soliloquy, mini me, uh, divinity. I think it, this guy's insane. He's not. He's not just smart and talking about good topics. He's also a fucking incredible MC. Out. That's what I'm about. Clowns wanna shout. Flash him, smash him in the mouth. Bloody professor, a man of the letters I read and I read and I'm sure that I'm better. Never regret an endeavor to dead an oppressor. I think that the lepers, they think that their pleasures are better endeavors than all of our pressures. But see me, born in a rage. Maroon blood coursing my veins. As you can see, I was born for the stage, but I'll never be their cultural maid. Some say that we're political. Is what they're doing isn't. Don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism? But for all the Italian clothes that you wear, or German cars that you drive, or French champagne that we buy, we'll still be monkeys in their eyes. So why you were begging it? Who knows? Italians fight the way Jamaican clothes, Italians call their own women. For everyone's entertainment, bro. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the one with the codes that flows all over the globe. I'm bunning out shows, but still don't oil my chest and pose. Pose a threat to the power structure. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's my reaction. Just tore the building to pieces. That I ending, that ending to it, it came in strong with the flows and the bars. I think he's got a second one coming as well, unless he's. Yeah, he has. I don't want to say it. I, I feel like I've just been school for a hot minute right there. Certain MCs, you know what? Like, I don't even want to hear you. Don't call my phone. If you ain't coming to destroy a beat like that, don't call my phone or you're going to get a voicemail. A caller. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say. Yo, little story. Let's take him down. Yo, listen. Oh. Okay, I haven't heard him do a storytelling thing and I feel like he could be a good storytelling rapper it's like I feel like some rappers just have that like ability to tell a story so well so for example Dave and Boxy Malone I feel like they can tell stories and they just keep your attention the whole time like Dave had a fucking it was like an 11 minute song on psychodrama but it's just like I listened to that whole thing and I didn't even realize how long it was because it just like wraps you in let's see if akala has got that ability Yo. I know you gonna dig this Absolute power corrupts absolutely But absolute powerlessness does the same It's not the poverty It's the inequality we live with every day That will turn us insane Absolute power corrupts absolute That's interesting It's not the fact that people are poor That turns them insane It's the fact that they're poor And there's people who are rich and it's like if everyone was poor they wouldn't feel as bad but it's the fact that there's people up there that don't necessarily deserve what they've got but they've got so much more than someone but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day yo listen in a scheme of living my life wasn't hard but as far as britain goes i practically starved Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out, electric car off as well, candles lighting up the house, looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels, the strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real, and that's how I grew, like so many more, and that was part of who I am, I am very sure, you wanna know the rage I feel in my stomach, No, my mama and dad's blood when I was still in her stomach, and not everything that happened I will put in 16s, but I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean, my boy's mother got cancer the same time as mine, but his mother died, and mine survived, it was crazy back then when I was like 10 already had them yeah he's a good storyteller I'm great I'm, I'm, I'm hooked in he's, he's got me gripped here wow yeah okay this is, this is gonna be a deep one mental strength more than many grown 
Bam. It was crazy back then When I was like 10 Already had the mental strength More than many grown men This was a couple years after My stepdad left Did he really know The crazy mess that he left Because mum done recover From the lumps in her neck But being poor and alone Couldn't cope with the stress uh, My big sis fought so much so, now I hadn't left school when she left home. I was 13 by now, still a little kid, innocent. Next couple years, though, we'll turn him to a militant. That is the result of no food in the fridge. And every other day, you're getting searched by the pigs. Plus, these patronizing teachers, though, my grade's sick, trying to emasculate me. Yeah, turn me to a Anna. Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear. I mean a spineless man, because what do they fear? More than a working class brown male with a brain. When our energy is harnessed, everything changed. Look at Pac, look at Marley. Look at Hendrix, look at Garvey This is the potential that is wasted on a daily basis A racist, classist, world that we live in Still we coming for nothing and we educate millions I see why it scares you It's like how dare you Overcome obstacles that we are being careful to Place in your way, every step of the way In this so-called democracy where kids get sprayed Blacks and the Asians, Turks and the Chavs Crowded in council flats, living like ants And who's more confused than so-called white trash Talking this madness but they want their country back It never was was yours, you should read more What they did to brown people, they did to their own poor But people's memory short, so much that I'm seeing Black and Asian kids cuss Eastern Europeans No pot to piss in, makes competition I fail to see how this is an effective system When cats and dogs in America and Britain Eat better food than most of humanity And we spend our technology only on Think about that Those people that feed, they used to like I feed my dog food it's like, I probably feed my dog food better food than like, or I feed my dog more food, they're getting fed better than lots of people in the world. That's a deep one. That's like, it puts into perspective the sort of like, not necessarily wastefulness because you're still feeding your dog, but the fact a dog can get fed better than a human somewhere in the world is, is madness. Especially when the dog doesn't really need to be fed by humans, they kind of like naturally go and get their own food in the wild. Oof. Kyla just comes in and makes you deep your whole life. Oof. I'm killing. How is this more than sophisticated savagery? It was once said, the world is a stage, each person just an actor with a part to play, like the middle class kids and kids of the rich that have everything, but yet still they pissed on their coke and ketamine, strung out on. I ain't generalizing. Look at the evidence, or go to Glastonbury any year, you will see But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police, this is London The kids on the very next street That's so true, that's so true Glastonbury and all the big festivals where everyone is just Like, everyone knows they're doing drugs, but Think about the police at Carnival Like, the police at Carnival are mad And it's like Why is there not that numbers at Glastonbury or Reading? It's like, is it, it could, because they're white, it's like, could be just subconscious stuff in the back of people's head that makes them think, oh, well, well, we don't need to stop them because they're white, but we need to stop these people because they're the problem, they're the black people. It's like, yeah, that, that's something I've never thought about before. I can't just, he's bringing stuff to my attention that I didn't realise. Had a very different life experience from me And in my experience they can't help but be smug After a lifetime of what they think's just good luck But are still more anxious and more thankless Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor That's why they copy what we do Trying to be what they not They will grow up though and get better jobs And maintain a system that they claim that they hated They can't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix Hip hop is just a fad to them You didn't know? But for us, this is our living, breathing soul And yet I am a middle class white quid, so I feel like I can relate to what he's saying, it's like he's speaking to me, and I'll, I'll wait, I want to rewind that because I want to catch all of that. It's the can't help but be smug, I but unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police, this is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me, and in my experience they can't help but be smug, after a lifetime of what they think's just good luck, but are still more anxious and more thankless, unearned privilege weighs like an anchor, that's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they know. That's true. I do genuinely feel guilty sometimes because I have been handed stuff to me that I haven't worked for because I've been I grew up in a, a good area and with a good family and it's like I've had perfect situations and scenarios in life and yeah I mean it it was like it's it's guilt that I have but I try to like I, I do want to like not 
be the stereotypical person who just gets a job in an office and you know just stays in that position and maintains like the middle class I do want to give back and like do charity work and stuff like that but it's interesting the lifetime of what they think's just good luck But are still more anxious and more thankless Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they not They will grow up though and get better jobs And maintain a system that they claim that they hated They can't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix Hip hop is just a fad to them, you didn't know? But for us, this is our living, breathing soul Okay, so personally I, I don't feel like hip hop's a fad to me Like I genuinely resonate with like the messages from this and I feel like I can connect with this on like a personal level but I think there is elements of it's like it's it's not made for me it's made for other people I, I really like this music I I feel like this is the perfect genre of music for like my beliefs and what I what I am as a person but yeah I, I can't I can't I definitely can't relate to anyone that's in a situation like who's growing up in a terrible area because it's like I've had everything handed to me on a plate. And yeah, they might backpack in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove and sh hits the fan of middle class and British and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So much more concerned with our cars and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So much. That's interesting. So it's like he was talking about the people doing, it's like, middle class people end up like obviously generally do like lots of charity work especially if they're left wing and it's like then he said when it come pu when push comes to shove they still pick themselves because it's like they're maintaining the system and it's like that's the way it happens i'm just going to turn my camera down a bit there um yeah that's like human self-preservation that's in your mind and that's that's one of the worst traits of humans i think is like the self-preservation that we have embedded in us that it's like always wanting to save ourselves instead of someone else and save ourselves instead of like several people we always have that selfishness that's embedded in our brain and if you can combat that then you're you're winning i think much more concern would be in privileged few and who knows maybe me too because absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane absolute power corrupts but absolute poverty also corrupts that's interesting so it's like well, everyone's probably corrupt in some way because your your situation most situations are gonna corrupt you in some way whether whether you've got power or no power both will corrupt you just in in different ways or maybe not so different Absolute power corrupts absolutely But absolute powerlessness does the same It's not the poverty, it's the inequality We live with every day that will turn us insane Who's bad? A car is in the building, man! We a cool real MC right here! We just schooled you, man! Please Knowledge pay attention! Power. Knowledge is power! That was, uh, again, this, that was, if not this was as good, if not better, than his first one, I think. That was amazing as well. I feel like that, that second one really resonated with me because it felt like he was addressing me and, like, my kind of people. You're just, like, middle-class white kids who've, like, had everything, had everything basically handed to them on a plate, which I, I have, really, because I've, I've grown up in, like, perfect circumstances. I, th I like to think that I'm aware of this, though, and I feel like lots of people aren't aware of it, and lots of, like, people in my situation aren't aware of it, but I like to feel that I'm aware of this and that I won't, I, I will try to be aware of this and not let that like slip out of my brain and always give back and try and try and prevent myself from having an unfair advantage. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a complicated one. Yeah, let me know what you thought of this far in the booth and yeah, I'd appreciate if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I will be doing Akala's Far in the Booth part three and part four as well. I've heard part four is very good, but we're gonna do part three first just because it makes sense. And then if you do subscribe, I'd appreciate you clicking the notification button, which is the little bell by the button. And that means you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, basically that's it. I'll see you in the next video.